Good day, welcome to Multinet Design. In the continuation of our Mino house that we are working on for a while. So it's been long that we are on this particular project and I'm sorry for a little bit of delay on this project because of the light issue which I've made mention in the community post that I have issue with the lights in our area, the way we are in Nigeria, that is the way it is. So we have already have done a lot of things after then. But I'm coming back to come and teach the refit and show me so people what I've been doing so far. So these are the work that we've done in the ground floor plan. This is where we created us this one, arranged them in the proper place and then bring everything into consequence and normal. So in the level two, we have this the madam, the bat, the entire uh, the bat for the entire house and every other thing for the mother. So then we call it entertainment, but so we call this one opening a balcony and everything that you have seen. So this is the roof plan that we have here at the top, which is now level three. This is the way the roof fall into. The underlay, if you do want to see all those things under the again, this is what you do. You come to underlay and select none. So this one will disappear. You're going to see all the falling of the roof and things like that. So let me quickly do something before I proceed to show you the elevation. At this, I want to show the the falling slope of this particular so i'm going to use feed so from the feed now i'm going to choose a, a solid black so just choose the, the triangular slow falling size four so you put it here like this and say finish so this is what i have so this to look at this thing four to the back then i want to show you the elevation so we've done this on elevation and things like that so we created a lot of work concerning this particular project and that's why we are working on it continuously at this level so this is the elevation that i'm talking about that we have created so this entire 3d we have seen it here so you can check around and see how far the whole thing so we create the lights and see like that. so we have a lot of you just check our youtube channel and see the process on top of the other so in this uh, this should now what I want to do is to define this front elevation and using what a, a railing pattern of side will do and what, you, what I want to do is to cut off this and everybody will see the way I do the whole thing that the fence have the front shape by using railing method so let's go foundation so I will close this up now by clicking here Short. good so my parking is going to be driving here from here to here so what i'm going to do here is extend this one take it back so i want to know the dimension of what i want to do here so this is uh, 360 which is normal for the gate and that is the accurate measurement just can put it so that we have 3500 so that the thing we round up to significant figure so now what you do next is that you just this and align it to the front which is okay so you can now create your gate depending on the kind of sign you want to do so we are creating it by using component so model in place so i'm going to use um, just let me use casework so i'm starting with casework one so i'm going to select institution and design it from the foundation like that so i'm selecting this So it's going to be here. So this, the next part is following this. It's going to just have a space. So that this one will be a pedestrian. This one is all big wing gate. So the main gate is not opening. The pedestrian have to be successfully open. So I've done with this one. So I'm going to go to satellite and I will drag it up to suit my idea. So this is what I have for here now. So what I need to do next is that I will now edit this material. So from the material indicates, so I'm going to select aluminium, then I change my material from that normal aluminium to something else. So I can choose graphics, so it's, it's okay. So select this one, maybe you're going to choose another. So appearance is what I want to work on. So I'm going to use a, a metal, so yes, metallic or metal. So let's look at the metal, chrome, polish, and things like that. So let me see that I'm going to see aluminium, aluminium, black. Okay. I'm going to use this one, aluminium dark gray. 
so i will use this particular one i've selected that so close it now select this one from here and make it more darker just the color so you can see the update it's your choice so please that and select so i've given it that's what i need so what i need to do is to now to create some um fc on this particular thing so i'm going to use only one so this is going to be sweep that we use for for your purpose or oh, let me just use the whole thing that i've started before you have told you before that may design come creativity so i'm going to use execution to do that particular one so i'm going to select and say just pick the the way it suits you i want to use uh, you can decide to use this particular one so i just want to create yes i just want to create something like this and say 40 40 is too much for me so let me use 20 so i'm going to have it's too small that thing is too small on the screen so cancel we'll start again i'll do a big one so let's say i finish it so now and i edit it so i'm going to reduce this and sell it 20 so let it be smaller this time around so i'm going to click finish by clicking finish select this and then I will now choose, I um, will just use a, just see duplicates on this. And then you go and choose almost the same material but of different, uh, so metallic paint. And just use metal. So I'm going to use polish, this polish, chrome polish, black and blue. So close this. And then select that and let's see if that is what I want. So rotate this one, go to West Elevation. So we already upload again. So from the West, what I just need to do is to rotate this particular guy. So I'm going to rotate it so that you give me what I want. So I'll pull it up and say okay. So that's what it is. So you have selected that for me. I'm going to use it too. So this one is coming back and this one I just to save again. So what I do here is that I will select this, select this one, use it up. So just like halfway. So you can now go to start elevation and see how far the returns look. So this is it. So you have it like this in this case. So you just like it design for you. You can adjust them so copy this and paste it and paste so you have that in place and now select again so check them in 3d is like something is there that is not working okay i think they're free it's just only that the appearance look more of not original so you can select this and check it from the front elevation so what you did do is that they are now resting in place they're supposed to so go back to foundation or let's say level one then you push to the to the gate itself so say constraints so that's it so we have this one now you can copy this into two just a design you the more line you have in so that's it so select that so now what you do is to bring one of them up so i'm going to take them and i say copy just copy here so i'm going to do rotate which is 90 degree so i'm going to go to start elevation then say move i'm moving only one of it i'm going to delete in a, this one so I don't need this. So you select this one, shift it to the edge, copy the fitting it here, so delete this one, copy select this one, and say copy. So for me, you bring this here, dump it here. Good. So if this one is fixed, then copy this here again and then fix it here. So you come here and adjust this particular one. So all what I'm just trying to do is to create a simple design with a simple logic. 
So anything can be achieved depends on the way you, you, you work yourself and work the whole entire thing you do. So it's no single method to success in the revit. So you can be able to do your own, you make it simple, you make it look like. So all everything done with the idea of reality. So this is it. So when you look at the gate now, this is the gate which is, has been formed. So it's not finished yet. So just select, you just need to select this on the other part by going to start education. Select all. You can come to the level 2 or go to level 1 foundation. So this is what I've been selected. Just push it back. And then you stay on a start. Little, little. So good. What, what you are just going to do is that these are materials and you are going to specify that the, this is what the material is all about. So the gate is done and we search with it. Now I want to work on the fence before I put the whole pillar into the place. So now I want to create this one by you know what I did the program. So go to here and say salt elevation. At the salt elevation, say sorry, salt elevation. At the salt elevation, I want to create the pattern for the whole entire thing. So what are the pattern I'm doing? And this is the way I'm going to follow it. So it's taken from here. Move it up. So from here now I'm going to mirror this guy. So from here now you mirror again. Just want to take this one from the middle. And I'm sorry, I'm just said. So I'm selecting this, I'm selecting this, so I'm mirror this. Good. So it's done like that. So take this one off. I don't need it again. So break this and you break this. So you don't even need to break that one, just trim it. So you trim this, trim this, trim this, and trim this. So I think the whole thing, the whole profile is being cut off. So you can see from 3D or uh, just check here from here if it's happened. So even some of the something so it's not working that way. So this is it. so at this level, what do I need to do? Let me place my this on this first. So I'm going to work on this by selecting the say foundation. So what is the thing I need to do? I did this one and say First, I, I omitted this when I was doing this one, so I'm going to turn it back now. So this one is going to be here, so and this one is going to be outside the gates. So it will be like this. So with a little bit of pattern to work with. So the way the fence should look like, so it will flow along the finishing matter with a different way and tell. So this is it. You can now pick this into two, break it into two, select this and create something. Okay, so like this, I want to extend this to the end side. So because it's still like sharp. That is not good enough for icing. So click is okay. So you're done with this now. Select this one. You say edit. So what do you need now is to go to select the line and just offset of what 100. So let's see whether the 100 it work. Def definitely it work. So you select 100, close it like this. So escape press zero so that back to snapping point. So select that and quit. So from the front, I'm also going to use the same thing to do the work. So I'm selecting the hundred and hundred. So I'm picking it like this, picking it, picking it, picking it, picking it. Pick, I'll pick and I will pick a place. So that is the place measure. So here now I draw the by clicking by snapping it to the old original, then I will place it now. So select this and fix say okay, then 3D 
so that is it so we have first scene in place now let me now do the railing aspect of this so that everything will look clean and look comprehensive so we'll click finish then go to your foundation select architecture and select railing so railing by what by sketch so you can decide to create any railing and do whatever type of railing you want this is your choice so you click on this and say okay I want to make sure that a little bit extends so that when I want to edit it, I will see something to pick. So I'm picking here now. So finish. So go back to your 3D. So at the 3D level, this is what you have chosen, which is this. And what do you need now? Just to say pick post. So you pick this post. As you see, you follow through the pattern of this reality content, and that is what I want you to do. So from here now, if you pick post like this, you can decide to say, okay, the elevation marker, just reduce this one to like 1,500. See, the whole thing come down, then you can design them by so you can come, back, come up again. So this time around, you save. So that is how you work and chase around the whole system of what you are doing. It's a continual development. You can check it from the elevation. Does it really work with what you need? So it's not taller, which is not accurate. But the beauty is that you can edit it and bring it down. So you can edit the profile by saying edit again. So this time around, you select all this, bring them down. So remove the costing. Let them come down. Say finish. Cancel. Finish it so you can you see so it come down so this is it that's how it works so from here you can just like taking more drastic tape design the whole thing the way it suits you or whenever you see that need break so you can just say go to this then um, anywhere you see a like break to half so just see edit the parts from editing the parts, you can click on this and say break those bits where they have that fitting and fitting. Break them, break them, and break them, break them, and break them. So, how this depends on the use. So, click finish. So, go to your uh, Start elevation, so you see. So all these uh, glasses, they maintain their position and things like that. So you check it on 3D and see the details of what we've done for here. So that is what you. I just want to teach for you to know understand at this level. So the remaining one now you can bring this in the next class. We are going to design the grid properly and do some aesthetic value and every other thing that we need to do. So thanks for watching, see you in the next tutorial for more development and latest activities.